Well, anyone who has adopted a pet knows that pet is part of your family, just like your child. So trying to figure out who's going to take care of that pet is a really big decision. Today, we have an expert to help us with that. Daniel Reitman is the owner of Dan's Dog Walking and Pet Sitting. Based in Long Island, he was recently named the 2021 Pet Sitter of the Year by Pet Sitters International, which is the world's largest educational organization for professional pet sitters. That was a mouthful. This man is not. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Reitman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Who is wearing that fabulous sweater on your lap? Thank you. This is Princess Leia. She's one of our clients here at Dan's Dog Walking and Pet Sitting. And she comes and joins us for live segments like this. Right, well, Mama? I, I love it. I can't <laughs> wait to I can't wait to hear what's what's in her rider. Congratulations on getting this award. So tell us what it is that you had to do exactly to become the world's best pet sitter. Well, uh, first off, thank you very much. And thank you guys so much for having me. Uh, it's been 11 years of a lot of hard work. I started the business by myself. Fast forward to 2019, we had a team of 45 people, but the big things about what we do, it's really transparency. Our pet parents that we work with, they need to know what's happening with their pets, basically at all times, because for me as a pet owner, I always want to know what's going on with my dogs, whether it's where he pooped, where, you know, where they went to the bathroom, things like mm -hmm. that. And we actually are able to use um, the Pawway app, which is like ways for dog walking. And it generates these fantastic little report cards that allow our clients to be able to see where the dog went to the bathroom, where they were walking. And there's a ton of other great safety features. You get live safety alerts and you can find pet friendly like routes to walk the dog. But it's it's just been a lot of it's a labor of love at the end of the day. I'm sure it is. And, you know, especially now, because we've talked about even on this broadcast that during the pandemic, so many people were getting pets. They were getting dogs. They were adopting. Oh, yeah. they, were, they were trying to figure out how to keep themselves occupied. And so now the question is, now hopefully these pets have forever homes, but now we have to take care of them. So, so when folks return to work, whatever that looks like, and they decide, okay, I'm going to get a pet sitter because I'm going to be out of the house for eight or 12 hours, what are some of the things that they should be they should be looking for. I know one thing you say is ask if the, the company is bonded and insured. What is exactly what does that mean exactly? And why do we need that? Absolutely. So it's there's a lot of people who have joined the pet space, at least what I've seen over the last decade. But it's super important that whoever you do hire, if you're not hiring us, that is, is bonded and insured. So bonding means that if an employee takes something or breaks something in your home, that expense is covered. And the insurance means if something goes wrong with your dog or if there's an accident at the home while the, you know, the, your home or your pet is in the care of that company, that is going to be covered by that insurance policy. And one thing is always ask for proof of this because it's very easy to say, yes, I'm bonded and insured. Ask questions like, who, you know, who is the underwriter? Can I see a copy of the insurance? It's, it's one of those things where you want to make sure you know that they actually have it. It's very easy for people to say that they do and they don't have to prove it. My, my goodness, I never would have thought of that, but it makes complete sense yes. because anything could <laughs> potentially go wrong in the span of even just five minutes. Uh, then you say, um, oh, yeah. it, how do you guarantee that the visit is complete? So, so to sort of track the visit, what does that mean? And how, how do we hold those companies accountable for that? So one of the things you always want to look for in hiring a dog walker or a pet sitter is that their visits are GPS verified. So we actually use the Pawway app to verify all of our visits via GPS. So the pet owners can see on the report card exactly where we walked on a map. We can drop little pins where the dog pooped, they peed, their favorite stop, spot to sniff. And it's really important just to be able to see because there's a lot of companies, and I'm sure you've heard about different there's a couple of big tech companies out there who offer dog walking services mm -hmm. and things sure. aren't always verified. People say they're showing up and they're not, or they say they're walking the dog and they're sitting on your couch watching TV. It's really important to be able to truly right. know that you, that the dog got out there. Cause unfortunately not everyone is honest in this space. Which brings me to my next question. When you are hiring a specific company and there are uh, individual employees, you say to ask if those employees are independent contractors or team members why is that important yes. for us 
So at Dan's Dog Walking and Pet Sitting, our team is all employees. And the reason for, at least from my perspective, picking a company that uses employees versus independent contractors, independent contractors can follow kind of their own rules and protocols. And if they can't show up, they could hand it off to another independent contractor whom you might not have ever met. Whereas when it's an employee, there's a specific set of protocols, a specific way things are going to be done. And that's going to ensure there's a much better system in place to care for your pet, especially if there's an emergency. I, and which, what, which lastly, what if there is an emergency? What happens then? Well, so Paulway has some great safety features that allow you to see where there's been a dog fight or things like that. But at the end of the day, ask the person you're hiring, what is your plan? Do you have a veterinarian on call? Do you have, you know, are your team members CPR certified? Do your employees know how to, you know, do simple first aid? Do they know what to do if a dog has heat stroke or what to do if there's a chemical burn from salt? There's so many things that go, go into training and making sure that your team, the team members who are caring for people's pets really know what to do and how to care for those pets. Princess Leia Daniel Reitman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Congratulations on your esteemed uh, award. And thank you for those thank tips you so I much. know what to do now when I need a pet sitter for a little Thank nickel. you very Absolutely. much. Thank you for having Great us. Thank you.